Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful day here in Lincolnshire. It's one of those mid-autumn days and uh, people have been asking for this, so it's something that I'm gonna give you. It is a fleet update. It's uh, the middle of November, 2023. Let's take a look at some of the current cars in the fleet. You can see, I don't know, a few of them behind me. Um, it doesn't normally look like this. It's like this for a reason. Um, Let's take a look then. In this video, we'll have a look round. We'll talk about some of the cars. Some are leaving, some are moving, some are getting work done on them. Um, and there's some new things coming to the channel as well. Let's take a look then at what we've got in the Coupland fleet, November 2023. Well, you'll fail to notice then that on the front driveway today, there are two, four, six cars. Let's start uh, and go around this way. This is Mrs. John Coupland's car. It is her 2010 Fiat 500. It's the Barbie pink edition. Um, it's just been MOT'd. Uh, that video is coming to the channel very soon. Um, and it's her daily driver. That is her daily driver. It's covered just over 64,000 miles from new. Um, there's a few knocks and bangs because she does use it here and there, but that is her car. That's Mrs. John Coopman's car um, out of the collection. Next to it is the TT. You know this TT because it regularly features on the channel. I purchased this one earlier this year and it's had a few issues but I am now enjoying hopefully some more faultless driving. 140,000 miles on the clock in this rather fetching but dirty at the moment um, Merlin purple colour. That's hopefully going to give me some great content in the spring uh, but I'm actually using that to commute to work at the moment as well. Uh, we've got the Toyota MR2. This is the latest one in the collection. It is a Mark III. It's the W30, um, covering just 41,000 miles from new. It really is a wonderful car, and it's in lovely, lovely condition. The reason it's on the front, though, is because, well, it's sold. I've sold it. Um, I bought it to enjoy, to use as a spring toy, and the sad reality is, as someone who is... 20 yard stone and six foot four. I don't fit in it very well, and so it has to go. The car has to go. Um, I've got no space for it. It needs to go to a good owner. And as I say, I've sold it. It has got a new owner. Um, it's going to go and live in Northern Ireland with a chap called Robert. So uh, that's got a nice new home and will be leaving shortly. It's almost a year now since the smart car blew up. <laughs> Remember that? I was on the way to look at a Proton that I'd bought and the smart car blew up. Me and Dad, mainly Dad, repaired it, rebuilt everything and uh, it is now fighting fit. Here is the smart car. It is a 2004 plate and it is my daily driver. We can have a look inside it because the keys are in my pocket. Um, it's a bit dirty inside because like I say, it's my daily but uh, it's a wonderful little car and now 83 and a half thousand miles later it's still going touch wood there will be an update video on the car very shortly because um as like i say it's a year since dad rebuilt the smart car very soon the snail van is still going if you haven't seen the snail van it uh, raises a few eyebrows it is the royal snail <laughs> it's a 2009 Fiat Doblo Cargo. It's the, I think it's the 225 model. It's the last one before the facelift. Um, and it's still going well. Uh, 250 quid that van cost me from my friend Darren. Uh, it needed a good old clean up and polish up and tidy up. It was uh, used for um, someone who had a dog business. And you can imagine what it was like inside. Things that are deteriorating quite rapidly is the red lacquer. You can see uh, under here, not the red lacquer, the red paint. Look at that, look, the lacquer is just coming off in my uh, fingers there. Um, I'm not gonna spend the money, obviously, having it resprayed. You can see it's all on the roof. But this is a workhorse. This is my snail van, and actually, I really, really love it. Next door is probably the most viral Proton of 2023. It's the one that you might have seen Mrs. John Coupland with going, oh, Proton, tap, 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 Proton. Um, it's a K-Reg, it's a white saloon. Um, I've been after a white saloon for a very long time and this year I managed to add one to my collection. 40 odd thousand miles on the clock. It was at the Festival of the Unexceptional 2023. And uh, 
it's the sort of car that I will be enjoying to daily drive in the spring of 2024. It's parked up at the moment and it's not going to be going anywhere because, uh, well, I'm not going to be driving it in the salt. Tucked up nice and safe in bed, we shall open it up, is my other Toyota MR2, which is my Mark 1A. This was my very first classic car. And if you haven't seen the video on the channel of me unearthing it earlier this year, I suggest you check that out. But here it is. This is my pride and joy, really. It's my uh, 1.6 uh, B-Reg Mark 1A MR2. That sleeps for most of the year, and it will be coming out to play next spring. There'll be a whole series of videos on the channel of me getting that one ready. Right now we head on round to the back there will be uh, another video coming to the channel very shortly which is um, of this which is my very first car yes the very first car I ever bought or well, actually I ever owned I didn't buy it uh, dad bought it for me Ta-da! no it's not an Austin Montego it's a K11 Nissan Micra in flame red very first car uh, of mine it's been sat there since 2015 it hasn't moved so what eight years um we'll be recommissioning that this year or next year on the channel and i've just filmed a video with dad today actually um looking at that there are three cars that aren't here at the moment two of them are a proton one of them is a nissan micra one of them is in that green garage over there which actually is my neighbor's garage she very kindly lets me keep uh, a micra in there all year round um <laughs> there's my trailer have you seen my trailer there is trailer stuff on the uh, channel but what's in the trailer well my mum is an artist and in the trailer is the stuff that she needs for her art displays when she goes out and about to village halls and churches and displays things in them. That's her art stuff. Let's go through the Stargate portals and look at these four, which are currently um, stirred, uh, not being used. This is a LRED, so 93 Proton 1.5 GL. It's um, not one I'm restoring. It is totally posh rotten. Uh, you can see there are issues with the car such as this and this and um, this is one that's in for braking um, it's going to be part of my christmas display 2023 and it's one as part of the six proton car collection that i purchased earlier this year uh, as i say it's totally knackered it's going to be bang erased not by me but by the banger boys once uh, i've stripped it for spare parts people might be shouting at you at the screen now saying no john save it save it um it's been issued a certificate of destruction uh, it's not allowed to go anywhere it can only be scrapped so um it's not allowed back on the road hence it has uh, ended up with me it's been written off this is uh, the latest micro in the collection a uh, 2001 plate um Glyn Hopkin, I had to think about that then. Uh, it's a Vibe edition covering just over, I think, 24,000 miles from new. Yeah, just five miles short of 24,000 miles. Um, I think this is the best Nissan Micra in the country. It is absolutely beautiful inside. It is like new. Um, you can see just by looking at the sills. Uh, it's going to be undercover. The reason it's outside at the moment is because I'm just getting space for it, um, but it needs to go undercover, um, ready for winter, because the last thing I want is for that to deteriorate. Over winter, we've got this. Oh no, I've got a flat tire. Didn't realize I'd got that. Um, this is a 2000 plate Audi A4. It's one I picked up uh, a year and a bit ago now. Um, from the scrapyard, it was destined for. Uh, it cost me, scrap price and actually it's a blooming good car inside uh, it's covered just over 140,000 miles but it is the 1.8 turbo version and it is a lovely car it wants for a math sensor and then once I've got the math sensor fitted it'll be going for an MOT and it'll be up for sale so this one is up for sale uh, probably early next year uh, and this is my old car this was my 1.8 six petrol you can see 
for the interior there it is my b5 this one's not going anywhere jasper green um i last drove it to scotland last october um it doesn't really go anywhere now but that's another car that will ever be leaving the collection at any time soon first car i bought when i met mrs john coopland and um it uh, is one that I'm keeping in my collection because in a few years' time, find me another one. <laughs> Genuinely. Nearly there, then we've got four more to look at. I need to paint my uh, garage next year. That's on the list of jobs to do. And we head into the Proton Garage. And in the Proton Garage, you'll see that tucked up nice and safe is my oldest car in my collection, which is my 1949 Armstrong Sidley. Uh, there it is. <laughs> You'll know this car. It's the Proton Black Knight. And if you don't know that car, well, uh, let me educate you. It's the last one in the world, and it won the Festival of the Unexceptional 2021. Here is a better look at my Armstrong Siddeley. You can't really see it uh, whilst it's in here, but um, lovely old post-war machine, 1940s, 16 horsepower, not very exciting, but a beautiful thing, um, to say the least. Look at that. You don't want that thundering down the road after you. Uh, and then the Proton Black Knight is here. There it is. You can see it's in the garage, nice and safe. Next to it is Jeff, which is my Proton 1.3 SELE. And the reason it's called Jeff is the number plate is GF. You can see that my cat has been in here at some point. Daisy Cat has uh, wandered over Jeff. We can take a look in the uh, engine bay of Jeff there. Uh, magma engine, eight valve. Um, it's on charge at the moment. So uh, you can see in there. And then this is mine and Mrs. John Coupland's toy, really. Um, another purple Audi TT. This time, 60 odd thousand miles from new. Uh, came as factory spec with the character front grille, Recaro sports seats. Uh, and a few different upgrades as well. That's been off the road now for uh, a year or two. Um, it's been dry stored because it is quite a special car. I don't know if you can see those Recaro sports seats in there. But um, that's also going to be coming to the channel in 2024. So that's it. That is the fleet update as of November 2023. 20, uh, as I say, there's plenty coming to the channel in 2024. I'm sort of waddling my way around <laughs> the Proton garage, away from all the cars. You can see there's the uh, the Proton sign above me there. Let me know what you want to see, please, in the uh, comments below on the channel, because there's so much that I can do, and uh, there is so much coming. Um, what would you like to see more of? What would you like to see less of? Any suggestions are welcome all the time. Um, like I say, there's some things leaving the channel very soon. The MR2 um, and the Audi. There's some things coming to the channel which I can't tell you about. Um, I have been bidding today on a Proton Sotria GTI. I've seen some pictures and some videos of it that the seller has sent me this afternoon. And actually... It's not as good as I thought it could be. Um, and I've got another couple of Protons on the way. Oh, yeah, talking about that, there are two cars missing uh, from the collection. Those are Protons. Um, I've got a barn find one I need to pick up that I've purchased. I've paid for that. That needs to come here. Dad needs to look at that. And I've got another white saloon coming to the channel as well. Um, it needs some TLC. It's been modified a little bit. And um, it just needs... A little bit of a tickle, shall we say, until it's up to the Coupland standard. Um, what's your favourite in the collection? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, have a great day. I'll leave you with the MR2. It's going. Which I am sad about. I'm genuinely sad about that. But say goodbye, because that one's on the way. Have a great day. Whatever you're getting up to, take care. Thanks for watching. Genuinely, thanks to everyone for their support. Over 3,000 subscribers now. You are all absolute legends. Whatever you're getting up to, take care. Bye-bye.